Hey guys, it's Jessica and welcome back to my channel. So today we are back with the Sephora Play Box unboxing. And it sounds like there's a lot of, uh, it almost sounds like Legos in here or something. <laughs> Obviously it's not Legos. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing open. Alrighty. So, oh, we got the clear bag again. I hate that so much. Please, Sephora, go back to the cloth bags. I am not a fan of these clear bags. So the playbook this month is actually kind of plain. I don't know, not really wowing me this month with just the front page of the playbook. Obviously, I'm not opening it yet because I don't want to see all the items. So Sephora Play is $10 a month, free shipping plus tax. And in your Sephora Play box, you get your playbook, which has a description of all the items within your box. And you also get your play card or play pass. And if you take this into your local Sephora store, make a purchase, give them this card, you will get 50 extra Beauty Insider points. And then, of course, we get our little baggie of items. So, again, I'm going to hold the bag this way so I can't. I can still kind of see through, but not as well because it's a little more milky colored on this side. So I'm going to have that side facing me and the clear side facing you guys. So it's a little bit more of a surprise for me, but not really. Please, just I hate these clear bags. They're not good. All right, so let's just jump into it and see what we got. So, uh oh, something's broken. Oh dear. That's not good. This is just a lid. No. Oh god, I kind of want to. Yeah, okay, I see the item. Oh, thank god it didn't spill. So, I've actually gotten this in my Sephora play box before, and thank god there was a seal on it, thank you, or else I would have powder everywhere. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Like I said, I have gotten this in a Sephora play box before. This powder is amazing. I love it. But full size is pretty expensive, I think, so I will probably never buy it, so I'm glad to get another sample size of this. All right, so the second item, let's put this big one. Okay, so I feel like I've gotten this before too, but the packaging was different. This is Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I don't really like dry shampoo. My sister loves it though, so I will definitely be giving this to her. But the packaging is really pretty. It has lots of bright, pretty colors and a cute design. Third item, box. And this says, Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. Okay. So what is that supposed to mean? Oh, I guess the name of the perfume is not a perfume. So I guess let's spray it. Hopefully I like this. Eh. Yeah, I'm not a fan. It kind of smells like chemicals and dirt to <laughs> me. I don't like that. Not my cup of tea. So we are not off to a great start. Let's hope the next item will be better. What do I want? Let's get this box. This is from Lancome and this is the Hydrazen Gel Cream Hydrin Anti-Stress. I don't think this is something I've tried before, but I'll be able to tell by the packaging if I have. I have not tried this before, okay. Let's see if it has a smell. Doesn't really have a scent, but I'm good with the moisturizer. So the next item is another big box. Ooh, I like the color. Hopefully the color matches the box. This is Grande Lips Hydra Plump Liquid Lipstick. Ooh, I hope this isn't a plumping thing, because I don't like those. Kind of concerned it is. Oh, here we go. Oh, God, it is. 
I, uh, I really don't like plumping lipsticks. Well, I've only tried one, so I guess I can't really say that, but it kind of hurt. Packaging is interesting. Not something I would gravitate towards. I guess I'll put it on for you guys. I'll do a swatch on my lips. I love the color. Oh, and it has the kind of applicator I like. It's the um, teardrop applicator. Alright, I'm gonna go against my better judgment and try it on. Okay, here it is on. My lips are already kind of having that tingling that I don't really like. This is not as intense as the last lip, lip plumper thing I got. I still don't really like it. I don't like the way it feels. Mm. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. It just feels like I'm getting shots in my mouth. It's very stingy. Not pleasant, but this is bearable. I will say though, I do really like this color. I think it looks pretty on me. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, I guess let's go on to the next item. Hopefully, by the end of this video, my lips will not be hurting. If they still are, I'll probably take them off as soon as this video is over. So, next item. Oh, last item actually is from Dr. Jart. I've gotten one item before from Dr. Jart and I think I really liked it. This is the Ceramidin Cream. Oh, it says Moisture Retention Shield. And it says apply to entire face to evenly retain healthy hydrated skin. Huh. God, uh, I'm definitely gonna have to take this lipstick off. Oh, I hate it so much, it does not feel good. I will never wear that again, just because of this. Which is sad, because I do like the color. But this just feels so unpleasant. But back to the item at hand. It is a moisturizer thing. I don't even know, I can't think straight right now, because my lips hurt. But yeah. But this box, overall, I honestly was not a fan of. I am disappointed. There isn't really anything that I'm in love with. I got a repeat. Actually, I feel like kind of a second repeat because I swear this is a repeat too, just the packaging looks a little different. So yeah, I feel like this box was a bummer. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video because my lips are on fire and I really wanna take this lipstick off because it does not feel good. So I will see you guys in my next one. So sending pugs and kisses your way. Bye.